Well, tomorrow the American Medical Association will begin its annual policymaking meeting here in Chicago. The divided group will reconsider its support of a key provision of the health care reform law. It requires Americans to buy an insurance plan if they don't have one. And the measure is opposed by the American Society of General Surgeons and some southern state delegations of doctors. They say that the mandate will, quote, undermine innovations and improvements in health care financing that can evolve in a free market. But the American Academy of Family Physicians is among the supporters of the mandate. And earlier I sat down with the group's president, Dr. Roland Gertz, to talk about it. Thanks for joining us today. So why do you feel that the mandate is so important? The American Academy of Family Physicians has had policy for almost 20 years to have a system that covers everyone in the country. There's more than abundant evidence that shows that when people are covered, they have access to better health care and then have better health. The second reason, it's a little hard to understand how you're going to get a rational, balanced, efficient, uh, m most cost-effective system unless you have the most people possible in it. If uh, your opponents succeed during the House of Delegates meeting and the AMA does withdraw its support for this mandate, what do you think the ramifications of that are? Well, it, it's a little unknown right now because of what I mentioned in the in insurance principle. The insurance principle is basically a large number of people getting together because they, they are fearful of something happening to them. And, and if enough people share, it's at relative low cost to each, each other that's participating. That's why in one of the resolutions, the one that we co-sponsored, the third part of it is that if indeed the courts uh, knock out the individual responsibility plan, that the AMA should study alternative methods to accomplishing the same coverage. Politically speaking, you have some strange bedfellows going on here, right? Usually doctors like you are not in agreement uh, on issues with the health insurance industry, but in this case, you, you both were, were fighting for this. Well, it, it, it certainly is true. I, I mean, in, in America, we have a deep-seated belief that we should keep you know, a lot of our process is rooted in a private enterprise. The private enterprise that interfaces with health care is health insurance. So, you know, we have worked in, in, in many, sequ uh, many venues, the AMA and the AAFP, to try and improve how health insurance works for Americans. And, and that's part and parcel of why we believe that we needed to move this direction. How do you see the issue playing out this weekend? At this point, uh, do you feel that there's enough support for the AMA uh, to continue uh, supporting the federal mandate? Well, the last couple of years have, she have seen several efforts at rescinding support of the AMA for health reform in various ways. They've not succeeded so far. How this plays out, I'm not sure. There's five resolutions that address this issue one way or the other. Three are supportive, two are not, and we'll just have to see how the debate goes. Have you had any meetings, you mentioned the federal lawsuits challenging the mandate. Have you been talking with state attorneys general about this issue and, and what have been the discussions there? As an academy, the AAFP, the American Academy of Family Physicians, has not have not had individual conversations with state attorneys generals, but we've certainly kept monitoring this very, very closely. And when state chapters, state constituent chapters, ask us to help or give them information, we do so. Okay, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.